Hi, I'm Jason and this is Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron's troubleshooting video series features the D25 RE2 11 GPM injector. The information pertains to the blue standard and the white PVDF versions. In this video, I'll use a strap wrench and a small tip Phillips head screwdriver. The three key areas in troubleshooting are, one, the unit is not drawing the concentrate, but it's clicking. Two, the unit is pushing water down into your concentrate container, but it's clicking. And three, the unit is not clicking. The first two are the most common. If your injector is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, it could be as simple as the strainer being plugged with debris. Take a look at the strainer. If it is clogged, clean it out and retest your dosatron. If there is still no suction, turn the water on. If the unit is clicking, unscrew and remove the suction hose nut and hose and see if you feel suction on your finger. If you feel suction, just cut half an inch off the top of the suction hose and reattach you should see the liquid begin moving up the suction tube. If you don't see liquid move up the tube or you don't feel suction on your finger, turn the water off. Press the air bleed button on the lid a couple of times to release the pressure. Using the strap wrench, loosen the lid and unscrew to remove. Set the lid aside. Grasp the white valve support and pull the piston straight out of the body. Set the body aside and take a close look at the plunger seal for nicks, scratches, or wear. If you do see damage or you don't remember the last time you changed the seal, just replace it now. To replace the seal, pinch and roll it off of the plunger. Install the new seal into the groove. Carefully install the piston into the body and replace the lid hand tight. Your injector should now be drawing the concentrate. If your injector is pushing water down into the concentrate container, it's time to investigate the check valve. To do this, remove the hose nut and hose and set aside. Unscrew and remove the check valve barb and remove the check valve seal. Then, carefully pry the check valve assembly down and out of the stem. A small flat blade screwdriver or pick will make this easier. Inspect the seal and check valve assembly. If they are dirty, you may be able to soak, brush off, and reinstall. If you see damage or you don't remember the last time you changed these parts, just replace them now. To reassemble, press the check valve assembly into the stem as far as it will go. Place the check valve seal with the groove facing upward into the bar. Thread it onto the white stem and hand tighten. Thread the suction hose nut onto the hose. Slide it onto the barb and tighten the nut. This should stop water from dripping back into the concentrate container. If the unit isn't clicking, unscrew, remove the lid and set aside. If it's tight, just use the strap wrench to loosen it. Grasp the white valve support and pull the piston straight out of the body. Inspect the white valve support on the top. Press the push rod down and check the two actuator springs on the bottom. If they are broken or missing, just replace them. You can visually inspect the upper and lower flanges on the piston shell. If they are worn or have deep scratches, the piston shell needs to be replaced. Also, check the piston shell's fit inside the body. To do this, invert the piston and slide it into the body. It should be a snug fit. If it feels loose, the piston shell and pushrod o-ring need to be replaced. To replace the piston shell, use a small tip Phillips screwdriver and remove the valve support screw and the plastic retainer. Press the pushrod up and slide the valve support off of the inlet valve and set aside. Next, remove the four screws in the center of the piston shell to release the actuator assembly. Pull the actuator assembly out and discard the old piston shell. Put the new pushrod o-ring on the top of the pushrod and slide it down as far as it will go. Then position the actuator assembly in the shell as shown and hold firmly. Now reinstall the four screws and hand tighten them in a star pattern. Press the white plastic portion of the actuator side to side. If there's movement, retighten the screws. 
Reinstall the valve support by sliding it onto the inlet valve. Next, position the retainer and hand tighten the screw. Test the piston by pressing the pushrod from the top and bottom. It should click each time. Insert the piston back into the body and hand tighten the lid. Your injector should now be clicking and drawing concentrate. That's all for now. We hope this video has been helpful in troubleshooting your D25 RE2 injector. For more information, please call us at 800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com. To see our other videos, check out our YouTube channel or visit the video page on our website. I'm Jason Maddox. Thanks for watching.